Hi everyone, this is my second video tutorial in the series of Square Byte Inventory System and today I'm gonna show you how to create uh, your items and how to change the item properties. So let's start. As you can see under the Square Byte you have two folders. 3D items are the uh, items that will uh, appear on the scene. As you can see I'm using the uh, demo inventory scene and uh, uh, I will explain the elixir of uh, strength. So let's uh, find it. There it is. Elixir of strength. As you can see, there is a capsule collider, and uh, this uh, game object uh, has the uh, one FSM component for colliding and playing uh, sound. But uh, the most important thing here is this field GUI item prefab 3D item. Elixir of Strength. This field here will reference your uh, GUI item in your inventory. So as you can see, GUI item prefab is this this item, Elixir of Strength. Those two items are connected. So uh, as you can see, game object prefab is the Elixir of Strength. So that's the uh, that this one. So just uh, drag it here. And uh, for this uh, field here, you just have to drag the GUI component of that item, and uh, th this is the Elixir of Strength GUI, just drag it here. And those two items are now connected. If you use this uh, Elixir of Strength, this game object will appear on your scene. And if you pick this object, it will appear in your inventory. This Elixir of Strength. Uh, has one child, and that is the uh, GUI text that will display how many of these uh, elixirs you have in your inventory or in your shop or container. This icon, it's your uh, GUI texture that will be displayed as your uh, item icon. So as you can see, I don't have to define this GUI texture. It will be defined if you uh, set this icon. Uh, this next uh, field is your uh, item name and it will be displayed when you find your item uh, with your character and you want to pick it. This is basically your item name. Let me show you how this works. As you can see, uh, when I uh, find this item, it will display this information. If I pick it and mouse over it, as you can see, Elixir of Strength. Let me maximize this for a bit. As you can see, uh, when you mouse over this item, it will display uh, its info. Elixir of Strength, that's our item name. Item type, it's Elixir, it's uh, effect, it's permanent. It will gain uh, 5 strength and value it's uh, 125. So let's see, uh, uh, let's see for those information. When you uh, store your item in your inventory, it will be uh, parented to this inventory list game object. As you can see, there it is. There is the our uh, item here. And uh, uh, currently, this GUI text has uh, no no value because we only have uh, only uh, one item in our inventory. So let's check this out. Inventory data database uh, hash table. As you can see, uh, this is our item UID. And this is our uh, GUI item prefab. In uh, item count hash table, this is our item UID and it says only one. In inventory system, when you have one item, we don't need to display any number here because uh, we only have uh, one item. So let's uh, test this out. Let's add one more. Uh, one more elixir of strength to our scene. 
just to show you how this works. Close inventory and take this electric project. As you can see, there is number two now because we we have two two same elixirs or in our inventory. Item count hash table now says two. And uh, this GUI text will display two now because uh, we have two items. Okay, so let me explain uh, how this works. Our GUI item, Elixir of Change GUI, uh, has uh, this uh, item UID field that needs to be filled. This is our item UID. Instead of this name here, this is for display only, but this name UID is for our system to operate with uh, our item. So basically, our system will know what item to store in your hash table and what item to remove and how many to add, etc. So based on this UID, our system will use that UID to store item. There it is, L strength. That's how I define the UID for this item and to store it in your database. So you have to define those fields here for your GUI items. This is also very important. Stats to increase and stats amount. We want to in increase strength by 5 points. This uh, strength means that we will change our global player strength variable because in our inventory system under the uh, use item FSM. You have this check item effect, and it will check what attribute you want to change and what global variable. So as you can see, if that value is equal to strength, it will change strength, and it will send this event here, and it will add that amount to our player strength in using the action int add. And of course, it will compare is that value negative or positive, higher or lower than, than zero, and it will increase or decrease that value using the format string to display, as you can see, multiply by minus one, and in this case, no need to multiply if that value is positive. So how do we create a new items here? If you want to create a consumable item, you just have to duplicate any of these consumable items. For example, we will just use this elixir of strength and press uh, Ctrl D, and that game object is duplicated. So let's change its name to elixir of power. Elixir of power, and find this game object here, duplicate it also. Call it Elixir of Power, and then you just have to connect them. Just drag your Elixir of Power here, and uh, under this field, just drag your Mesh Elixir of Power here. I will use the same icon just to demonstrate. Let's change it this to. 10. It will add 10 points to your global player strength variable and change its UID x0 of L uh, power and uh, change its price to 1000. Permanent its name and x0 of power. This will increase your strength by 10 points. And let's uh, test it out. Elixir of power, here it is. And let's play this out. Okay. So let's pick it. As you can see, there is Elixir of power and there is Elixir of strength. Let's pick them both. And here they are, Elixir of Strength, Elixir of Power. 
uh, this one will increase your strength by 5, this one will increase your strength by 10. So as you can see our strength is 10. Let's drink this one. Strength by 5 and strength plus 10. So as you can see our global strength is increased. So that's uh, one way of creating items by duplicating uh, already existing uh, prefabs or you can use a different method. Uh, you can use this square byte menu under the tools and create item. So I want to create a consumable item. Let's press it and it will add uh, two items under your new created items folders. So as you can see under the consumable you will get two items created which means they are not connected you always have to connect uh, new items to reference the uh, certain prefabs so as you can see here it says none just drag this and here just drag this one and those two items are now connected all values are empty you just have to define uh, all values here let's add some icon this and elixir of life and effect permanent this is just a test for elixir this is just a text for Elixir item price 50 item type elixir item UID 3 L life that's to increase uh, max health 15 and usage time 0.57 let's rename these items first this will be elixir of life and this will be three elixir of life july and uh, we can add uh, one mesh to this game object now so let's find this game object here as you can see there is no mesh you just uh, have to add your mesh the scene parent that mesh to our new created item reset and position your collider properly this will be set to zero maybe some bigger radius 0.8 one and so this is our uh, new created item and this will be one special portion elixir of life and after you are done with uh, setting up your new created item you just have to drag this item to replace this prefab here and let's see what will happen now so there it is elixir life let's pick it we choose this icon and as you can see max health will be increased by 50 when we use this item and in this info it says this is just a text for our elixir you can see our health is 80 max health increased by 50 and there it is so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial and in the next uh, video I'm going to explain about the inventory system itself, how this uh, FSM works, how hash table works, how you can uh, add or uh, remove items from your uh, hash tables. Thank you for watching. See ya in the next video.